Hello again. Um, today I'm going to show you that you could do one step to make these kind of questions easy to solve. So what is the step? The step is related to cross multiplying. Um, so we have X on the bottom here and a lot of students get stuck when they have an X on the bottom like that. The best way to do this is what I call free crossing or free trade. What do I mean by that? See, in this kind of situation here, this x could go where the 6 is and the 6 could go where the x is. So just know it that way. It's about cross multiplying, but just know when you have this kind of situation, 6 goes where the x is and x go where the 6 is. So now you have x equals 32 over 6. So the 6 went where the x is and the x went where the 6 is. So 32 divided by 6 all you can do is just reduce here. So two goes into 32, 16 times and goes into six, three times. And that's what X equals. How about if we have something like this? The same thing, even though here it's only X, but here it's an expression, it's a binomial. It doesn't matter. All of this will go where the two is and two will come where the three X minus two is. One easy step, the whole question becomes easy. So therefore you'll end up with 26 over two equals 3x minus 2. Now 26 divided by 2 is 13 equals 3x minus 2. Now move the negative 2 to the other side. So we add 2 to both sides and that will give me 13, 13 plus 2 equals 3x. And that's 15 equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3 x equals 5. Very important step. When you have this kind of expression, a lot of students get stuck in this. What do we do? It's very simple. Move this here and move this there. Move this where the 2 is and, and bring the 2 where the 3x minus 2 is, and it's done. I hope this helps you uh, do this kind of things a little bit faster. It makes this question simpler than what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Um, success in learning is success in life. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you for watching again. Bye-bye.